I see lots of tutorials showing how to make large size spheroid model but never skinny size model until now. Of course, with the help of bodysuit features, we can make that happen. So let's begin. First, we need to adjust the body parameter in the body tab. Here is the body parameters here. Head size is around negative 0 0.4. You can either make your head size bigger or smaller, your choice. But in this tutorial, we will start with head size 0 0.4. Okay, that's good enough. Next, we're going to make the head width. I don't want to make the head width more wider or narrower. But for in this case, we're going to make the head look narrower because we want to make the body looks more slimmer. So of course, the face should also follow the bodies too. Next, we're going to head tip Y. So for the head tip, it's just to make this head of this make a bit more taller or even shorter. This, for example, of course, if you are not satisfied with the head tip Y height, then you can just adding the value here. For example, I adding 5. Now his head more like a rugby ball. Yes. But what is enough? Next, we're going to decrease the neck length by negative around this number right here, negative 0, 0.0. And okay, looks good. Next, we're going to reduce the neck thickness. Alright, you can't see it front, but you have to see from the side view right here. This is the default number, and this is the neck thickness. We are going to reduce them a little bit, perhaps around negative around 12. Okay, how about 10? Alright, that is good enough. Next, we're going to make our neck wider and narrower, just like we did the head. So, neck width is either making them look even more wider or even narrower like this. So, for the neck width, we're going to reduce them around negative 4.3. We are not going to touch the softened color bone because you will even adjust the softened color bone in bodysuit later. So does the Adam apple right here. But if you want to play the slider around this two, go ahead. Now we're going to move on with shoulder width. For shoulder width, you can either make your shoulder width more broad or even more smaller. But in this case, because you want to make our model look skinny, perhaps shoulder width should be smaller. We move on with the arm length right here. You can make your arm look more longer or even more shorter. But in this case, we are going to make the arm length look a bit... Maybe we should increase them around 0 0.2 or 3. Whatever choice right here. You can even copy the exactly number if you want. But you can keep adjusting them if it's not suitable to your preference. Now let's move on with the finger size. Now for this finger size, we can either make them look more chubbier or more even skinnier. But for me, it's not skinny enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the number by negative 2. Or if you want to make it much more skinnier, then we can add in more value in this parameter such as 7. And lo and behold, you got a skeletal finger. But it's much more skinnier. So negative 2 is is enough. Next, we're going to go to a hand size. You can make your hand size much more bigger like this, or you can even make it look more smaller. So we're going to adding the hand size maybe perhaps around negative 0, 03 or 4, whatever that the number value you want to add. And I think this is good enough. Next, we're going to go to torso length, which means it's connected between your upper body and your bottom so we need to either make your torso look more taller or look more shorter that depends on what type of body shape you want you're looking for so for torso length perhaps we can adding more make our model look a bit taller for torso length is around 0 0.325 mm, either on this number here should be good Next, we're going to adjust the waist width. For waist width, you can either make your hips look wider, hips don't lie, and you can see the clipping happening here, and we don't want that, or you can even narrow down your waist width. And if the waist is not even narrow enough, like I said, adding the number should do the trick. Yeah, mm, not 
looking good, I guess. So maybe a one is enough. Next, we're going to go to adjust the leg length right here. Either you make your leg more longer or even shorter like this. So we're going to make our leg length increase a little bit around, around this number right here. Yeah, we can make our model looks a bit taller and a lanky too. Now you already adjust the body parameter, it's time to import the body textures to body suit textures and outfit category. You can either customize your own textures by drawing or you can even download skin textures on good website. In this tutorial though, I will use these default skin textures by saving these textures. Go to outfit, go to this in the top right here, go to custom, create new, pick body suit. Time to adjust the bodysuit parameter. Remember in my previous video that I said that the bodysuit and body skin textures all the same template. So does this video right here. Without further ado, let's import the skin textures that we saved previously to bodysuit. Port. Go to the skin default bodysuit. And here it is. You can adjust the bodysuit right here by going to this slider symbol right here. I know that we already adjust the neck width in the body, but if you want to make it much more skinnier, then bodysuit is the best suit. You can either make the neck width look more like this, or like I said, adding value to make it more unique, like this if you want to, but it's too much narrow. So, a hundred is enough, negative a hundred. We're going to neck thickness to make your neck more thicker. Adjust the neck thickness like I think this this value is enough. Alright, so this is where the magic starts. We're going to shrink bodysuit and then we're going to increase the shrink bodysuit like this. Instead of 100, choose 200. Then, increase the bulk from the ankle right here. Here it is. And we're going to increase them till 100. However, clipping might happen here, so in order to counter it, either you have to decrease the bulk from ankle, perhaps adding a negative value, or you have to increase the size of these shoes right here. Maybe I'm adding the negative value here. Next, we're going to increase bulk from the knee. We are going to add negative number right here. Okay, I think the ankle is much more skeleton. Perhaps we can increase the bulk from ankle. Alright, I think 100 is enough. Sorry about that. Next, we're going to flatten pectorals. I will move this one so that you can see the pectoral. So you can even flatten it by adding more number right here. You can't see it right now, but you can see the movement in chest area right here. So flatten pectorals, maybe around... Perhaps the fingers is not even skinnier enough. You can even increase the flattened fingers like this. You can't see it right now, but it's actually make your fingers much more straight without any curve. This is the before, and where we're going to flatten the fingers. This is the after. Now we're going to stretch the fingers right here. And you can even increase them however you want. Perhaps adding them 7 instead of 1 just to have more fun with your fingers. And yes, this is how it looks after you're adding a value. Maybe you stretch the fingers around 14 or even 15 is enough. Here's how the body looks like after we use bodysuit. Now let's move on with face features to fit the body proportions. However, if you like the face as it is, then you can skip this part because after this, I will explain how to apply outfit plus the cons of using the bodysuit. Eye size X is make your eyes much more wider or narrow. We're going to make them wider for eye size Y. So we're going to make them a bit smaller like this. And if there is a clipping happen, then I guess you have to reduce it a little bit. I think this should be enough. Next, we're going to move the eye a bit right here. And we can adjust them by going up like here. The eyes are aligned with the ears right here. Next is eye position X. We're going to make it a little bit... Not that near near, just around this area should be good enough. Rotate eye socket is either to make your eyeball look like this or look like this. But for this one, I want to make the character look a bit more roughish, like this one. Inner slant eye is like this, either to make your eye, inner eye look like this or even like this. 
they're all happening increasing around here and we don't want that so we're going to increase them Okay, I think this should good be enough. Alright, next we're going to reduce the inner slant. So in this case, we're going to go to... Alright, I think this is good enough. Next we're going to go out the ice land Y. We're going to go to... There we go. We're going to move upper eyelid down. We can increase them a little bit like this. Should be good enough. And then we're going to move low eyelid up a bit. There we go. For eye size X, we can even choose however eye shape that you want. But in this case, we're going to reduce the eye size X. Iris size Y is to make your eyes much more taller or even shorter like this. But in this case, we're going to reduce them around. Okay, this why where your eyes want to set the look at the center. But in this case, we're going to make them look straight forward like this. Next is gaze distance. We're going to go around this number, this value right here. There we go. For eyebrows though, if you don't want to even change the eyebrow tilt, that is fine. But this is tutorial, so I have to give the hints. So if you want to make your eyebrows look like this, you can even make your eyebrow tilt like this or like this. But we can do this like this. And eyebrow position Y is to make your eyebrow look more higher or even lower. Be careful when sleeping happens, alright? I think this one's alright. This is good enough. I want the eyebrow position X to be same aligned as the eyes right here. So all you need to do is adding more value right here. There we go. In mod width, we're going to make our mouth look like this. Next, we're going to go mouth position Y. We're going to make the mouth look like it's either between these cheekbones right here. So, this, that's good enough. So, about the outfit, do not pick any full outfit in whole set category. The whole bodysuit disappear. You'll have to remember that bodysuit is part of the outfit and not the body textures. Instead, pick any single outfit such as tops. So yes, you'll have to add in a single outfit one by one. Some clipping might happen in certain categories such as shoes and arm accessories. There are two methods to tackle this problem. Either slide any slider in shoes and arm accessory just to cover the clipping or reduce the number of of parameters in bodysuit. You can't even download this period model from my booth website. While you at my booth, please read the rules of using this model. Also, don't forget to check out these videos where I cover more bodysuit features and what type of tutorial would you like to see on my channels. I would glad make the video about it and also Liza.